Before you start, please read the instructions carefully, taking special note of any warnings. It will take two people approximately two hours to assemble the bed. Lay the parts out in a soft surface like carpet to avoid scratches. Note that all pieces are numbered. Please contact us if you think any parts are missing. For this build, you will require a medium Phillips or crosshead screwdriver, a medium flat blade screwdriver, a rubber mallet. An Allen hexagonal key is provided. Find panels 14 and 15. Attach three drawer slides to each panel using screws F. Note the third screw, which does not have a guide hole, goes here. When all six slides are attached, panels 14 and 15 will be mirror images of each other. Now take panel 12 and two panels 13 and insert dulls and cam locks as shown. For more information on how cam locks work, please see our separate video. Attach panels 12 to panel 13. Now screw male cam locks into panels 14 and 15 and attach the base assembly, lining up the dowels and the cam locks. Make sure the cutout lines up as shown. Tighten the cam locks. Turn the assembly on its end as shown and attach the other side using the cam locks. Open packet V and attach the felt pads to the base of the assembly. Make sure to leave a gap of approximately 10 millimeters from the edge. Now find panel 17, 18, 19 and 21. Attach dowels and cam locks as shown. Open packet E and use these screws to attach panels 18 and 19 to panel 17. Slide in panel 20, then attach panel 21 using the cam locks. Now open pack K and L and use these screws to attach the handles. Now attach the runner to the underside of the drawer as shown. Repeat these steps for the other two drawers. Find panel 23 and attach the four cam locks as shown.
Now attach the small panel 24 using Allen bolts R. Now fit the felt pad to the bottom of panels 23, remembering to leave a 10mm gap. Now find packets H and J. Separate the two halves of hinge H as shown. Now attach part H2 to panel 31 using screws F. Now attach the three male cam locks and felt pads. Find panels 9, 10 and 11. Attach all cam locks and dowels as shown. Now take packet M and P and use them to attach panel 9 to panel 10. Now attach panel 11 using the cam locks. Now find panels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and attach all dowels and cam locks as shown. Add the PVC hook and two hinges to panel 4. Now attach panel 3 to panel 31. Attach two panels to panel 1 using the dowels. Then flip the assembly on its end and attach panels 1 and 2 to the base of panel 3, securing it with nut N and Allen bolt P. Attach panel 4 to the edge of panels 2 and 3 and tighten the cam locks. Fit 8 cam locks to panel 4. Fit panel 25 to panel 4 using Allen bolts R. Fit three panel 7 to panel 6 using the cam locks. Now fit panel 8 to the side and tighten with the cam locks. Flip the assembly over and attach nuts M. Screw bolts P into nuts M. It is critical that these cam locks and bolts are securely fitted, so please double check before moving on to the next stage. Attach four cam locks to panel 6 as shown. Attach cam locks to each side of the main assembly and attach both panels 5.
Now lay the assembly flat and fit panel 6 as shown and tighten all four cam locks. Insert Allen nut and bolt to panel 5 as shown. Now rotate the assembly as shown and offer it up to the other large assembly, making sure that the 8 dowels C are in place. Now attach the 10 felt pads to the base of the unit. Find the drawer unit and slip board 16 into the groove at the back. Now turn the assembly over, making sure to support the panel that is hanging, as shown. Attach the drawer unit onto the assembly and tighten the cam locks. Find packet Q and use the Allen bolts to attach the metal bars 33 under the ladder rungs as shown. It is extremely important that the ladder is built as per the instructions, so please take extra care on this section and double check your work. Check and tighten all cam locks on the ladder section. Now fit panels 22, 28 and 29 and attach all dowels and cam locks. Now attach panel 22 to the assembly, making sure to support it at the other end. Now attach panel 23 to the other end of panel 22 and tighten all cam locks. Take panel 30 and slide it into the grooves as shown. Take hanging rail 34 and attach it to the holders as shown. Now find an open packet D and use the hex screws to attach panel 26 to the assembly using the Allen key. Use nut N and Allen bolt P to secure the left hand end.
Now find the two L brackets, S, and attach them to panel 28 using screws, F. Attach panel 28 to the assembly and secure from below with four hex screws, D. Then secure on each side using nut N and screw P. Then secure the brackets using screw F. Note there are no pre-drilled holes. Now, from the other side of the bed, slide in panel 27 and attach using 7 hex screws D and 4 nuts N and bolts P. Now attach panel 29 using three nuts N and bolts P on the underside and a further two on each end. Attach the hinges H to panel 32 using screws F. Note there are no pre-drilled holes here. Add the door handle as shown. Repeat the steps for the other door. Now attach the hinges and adjust. Note these hinges are fully adjustable, allowing the doors to be a perfect fit. Now fits the three drawers. Congratulations, your bed is now ready for use.